Okay, so I'm going to start out by priming my eyelids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And this is just what it looks like. It's just a primer. You can pretty much use any primer you want. Elf Eyelid Primer, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, it doesn't really matter. A primer is just going to help ensure your shadow to stay on all day. And um, just the, vib the colors show, be true to its color. Highlight first, and I'm going to take this shade right up here this kind of like um off white beige color and then at the very end of my tail right here i'm going to put a little bit of the shimmery color and i'm just going to use the sponge tip applicator to do so and then taking a little bit of that white right on the tip right on the edge of your brow. A Lauren Luke brush is just like the 217, um, or, yeah, or the Sedona Lace EB09 brush. They're all like amazing. I'm just gonna use the Lauren Luke one. And I'm gonna go in with that orangey color right here, and I'm just gonna put that as my transition color. Next, I'm gonna put some of that taupey color right here, and then that's gonna go right just below my transition color. And then I'm also going to put, whoops. And then I'm also just gonna put some of that dark color in my um, outer corner slash crease. So this is the taupe. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown, just about yay much. Okay, next I'm going to take this Sigma Short Shader E20 brush and I'm going to be using this dark brown shade underneath my lower lash line. You can also make it quite thick. Now with that same brush, I'm gonna take it again and put it on my upper lash line. And you can kind of wing it out at the corners if you want. Then I'm gonna take some of the black, very little because this black is so pigmented. So just take a wee bit, tap off any of the extra, and I'm just going to use it right on the outer corner of my eye. And then take a little bit more and do it on the upper lash line as well, just on the kind of outer corner of it and then make the wing with it as well. What you're doing by shading the black and the brown is you're creating dimension for the shading to be out more so your eyes look kind of more out, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to take the shimmery brown, which is such a pretty color. Sorry, that's like awkward. And then I'm going to put it kind of right in the middle of the look right here. Next for the shimmery color on the lid, um, I'm just going to use my e.l.f. smudge brush. It's just like a little bit smaller than the um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take the shimmery kind of champagne color in the corner. And I'm just going to apply that um, over the lid. Now, this is like kind of like really, see how that one's a little bit darker? I'm going to take this MAC 222 brush. Um, Lauren Luke also has one, cause this one's discontinued, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of the black, like just that much, and just put some in the outer corner. Now I'm just going to take this brush and just kind of take the transitioning color just with a little bit of the brown and a little bit more of the transition color so I can kind of smoke it out just like that one. See how that one's kind of like straight? I'm just going to tap off the excess and start blending. I'm going to put on a baby pink color 
And you can really use any type of baby pink. I'm going to be using the cream sheen glass. And this is fashion scoop. It's limited edition. But really any light pink color. Like legitimately any light pink color. Or even clear gloss. This one barely has any color. But that's what I like to use. And then this would be your day look um, for the day. And that's what I would wear during a natural. Well not natural. But a just regular fall day. So now we're going to move on into how to amp up my fall look so i will see you guys in half a second i removed my lip gloss and now i'm just going to kind of amp it up a little bit first i'm going to apply an eyeliner and this is the clinique quick liner for eyes in the shade Bl uh, black brown number 11 i really love this because it's like just enough brown but dark enough to be noticeable so i'm tight lining And then I'm going to line my waterline. Too harsh on my eyes because they're already so dark. Um, and normally I don't wear mascara just because my lashes are very thin. So I don't really see the point of it. I'll either wear falsies or no mascara. But today I'm just going to wear mascara. I'm going to apply my Zoom Lash and my L'Oreal um, Voluminous Million Lashes together. I can get my zoom lash open that's the only thing I don't like about this mascara next I'm going to do my eyeliner I'm going to be using the Borac front of the line pro pen I'm just going to shake it there's a little ball in there that gets it out it's like a pen slash brush and you're just gonna follow the line of your wing going to kind of define my crease just a touch more so for the lips I'm going to be using a vampy red lip and this was the kind of look that I wore um, with my sister uh, in the current favorites video with her so I used Mac rebel just alone in that video but I want it to be a bit more deeper, so I'm going to put a little bit of cyber over it. So normally I'd prep my lips with Prep and Prime from MAC, but um, I'm actually just taking this lip color off after I'm done with this That tutorial. is the look for what I was wearing in the video with Mattia. But then I'm going to put a little bit of cyber over it. Just like that so that would be your completed look and if you want you could add more bronzer I just have on an elf highlighter and I have on a Milani uh, big blush and flamingo or something like that and um, from bronzer I don't have any bronzer on so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial sorry I've been slacking and I'm going to film as many tutorials as I can from now on okay I love you guys so much and just remember there's someone out there that loves you just as much as I do okay love you guys bye